we're gonna learn about some big money or unexpected bolos. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. It is time for This Is My Bolo. This is where I reach out to my featured members and I'm like, send me a video clip of your best Bolo. Tell me where you got it, what you paid for it, and what it sold for. You are going to hear from them directly. So there's going to be some short clips coming your way and you are going to learn about some big money or unexpected Bolos in this video. Thanks so much for being here and be sure to subscribe and let's get started. Chin, all right, you guys, this is my Bolo. I got these at a garage sale for $1. They are vintage chenille pipe cleaners. I'm gonna pop it up right here so you guys can see it better. $1 I paid for them at a garage sale and I sold these for $77.50. The buyer was all in for $93.11. You guys, these are arts and crafts, but they're vintage and they are collectible and people use them and need them and they're hard to find. So definitely be on the lookout. This is a nice little bundle, but $77 plus tax and shipping. Woohoo! This is my Bolo. Hey guys, my name is Tanya and I'm just a girl out here making a living thrifting. And my Bolo is this. This is actually some fabric. I saw Courtney's post on the community page to get our videos in and this was actually already packed up to go out today. So I'm going to put the screenshot up here for you. This, I actually purchased this fabric from a thrift store when my husband and I went to FlipCon and I noticed that some of the Holly Hobby fabric went super high and some of it went super low on eBay. So I decided to do an auction, which is not normal for me, but that's what I do when I can't decide how to price it. I believe I started the auction at $79.97, and within a few hours, I received one bid on it, ran it for seven days, didn't receive any more bids on it, and the buyer actually sold after the seven-day auction. I didn't even have to send him a reminder. Can you believe that? Hey Bolo Buddies, how are ya? This is Zandra, also known as Piece of Scrap. I'm a reseller on eBay, Facebook, Poshmark, Macari, and Amazon, and here is my Bolo. I picked up this Hallmark Jingle Pals Snowman and Dog Animated Battery Operated Figure at the bins for just about $2. I paid $1.79 at the bins, and this weighed a little over one pound. I wasn't sure if it worked or not, so I took it home and put batteries in it, and guess what? It works! I included that video in my eBay item description, and it sold on my promotion for $66.83, and the buyer paid $12 shipping. So they were $78 all in. Follow me over on YouTube at Piece of Scrap for many more What Sold on eBay, Poshmark, Facebook, and Macari videos. Thank you, Courtney. Hi, Courtney. This is Cher, Grin and Grandma. And my bolo this time is a set of 10 caviar dishes. They were actually made of mother of pearl and shaped like fish. We got them at an estate clean-out, which basically means that we didn't have any cash into it at all, just our, our labor for the clean out. And they sold for $155. The buyer did pay for shipping. Yay. <laughs> Hello, this is Eric, better known as Ohio Treasure Hunters. And this is the bow that I am showing. Many of you might thinking, what's the big deal? It's Pokemon, it's video games. You know, they both sell. However, in this case, this has no game in it. It is just the box and a really beat up manual. That is all. Okay, I got this at the Goodwill bins. Uh, I paid pennies for it because it weighs like nothing. I had it listed for $149.99. I took a best offer 
of uh, $110 plus shipping for it. Um, this is just a reminder, don't just keep an eye out for video games. Don't pass up on high value video games on boxes and manuals because they hold value as well. Love yard sales and dreams over on eBay, Instagram, and YouTube. Go check them all out, you guys. Subscribe, follow, whatever you gotta do. This is my bolo. So I'm in the car right now, obviously. But I'm going to give it to you. I paid $20 for these industrial style lights. The name brand on these are Abilite. But the name doesn't really mean so much. The fact that they are industrial and that they are very heavy duty. Galvanized. They're going to last through the weather. If you guys see these at a yard sale or an estate sale, thrift stores, whatever. And they are decently priced. Go ahead and pick them up. Ended up selling them at a final price of $400 that I accepted on a buy it now. I initially listed them in my store for $700. I'm the type of person who is going to list something a little higher so that I can put it on sale and I'll still be able to accept an offer and make a very nice profit. You guys, I'm Danielle and that's my bolo. Howdy Bolo Buddies! My name is Gretchen and I am the Restless Thrifter and I am a part-time reseller and part-time dog sitter. I want to talk to you about Coors Pottery. You know Coors, like the beer company, did you know that they used to make dinnerware and cookware? During Prohibition, they had to shut down the beer line, so they had to switch gears and they, they started making pottery. They made it from the minerals in local mines in Golden, Colorado, where the company is founded. It's very colorful and collectible and very reminiscent of Fiesta Ware. But I want to show you the bolos that I have sold. It doesn't sell really fast, but it is a really cool piece of history. So if you see it, look it up. I sold a couple of pieces of the Rosebud line. I sold this casserole dish for $55 plus shipping. And then this mixing bowl set, it sold for $70 plus shipping. You'll want to look for these stamps, but not everything is stamped. So in the Rosebud line, you can look hopefully for those telltale roses. Thanks for watching. And if you want to see more bolos and more dogs feel free to follow my channel the restless thrifter i do thrift hauls with average sales price and sell through rate as well as weekly sales updates giving you my profit thanks everybody hi i'm the rebel reseller and i'm going to be sharing this is my bolo but first i wanted to thank courtney for all that she does for youtubers and resellers this circus clown I picked up at the Nashville Bins when I was out there participating in Courtney's Bins Bingo Challenge. It is by MyLie. I checked eBay. There were no comps. Terra Peak, I went back the two years. There were none. And then when I went on Worth Point, there was only two similar clowns that had sold for $40 and $50. I knew that this was something special, so I listed it very high at $199.95. And within a couple of days, I received an offer of $120, which I accepted. Thank you. Hi friends, this is Toy Addict, and this is my bolo. This Mycene Barbie Masquerade Madness doll sold in about three days for $135, full asking price. I paid $4.50 for her at an estate sale. And I also bought this other one that sold in about the same amount of time for $115. I guess I shouldn't have taken an offer. I wanted to bring these up as my bolo because a lot of people think that Barbies are not really worth that much. And Barbie is actually very hot right now. So especially Barbies from the 80s and 90s. And of course, older, the older they get, the more expensive they are. But Barbies from the 80s and 90s can be really hot right now. There's several Barbies from the 90s that are selling for hundreds of dollars on eBay. So if you happen to see a Barbie in a box, look it up. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all you do, Courtney. Please subscribe to my channel, Toy Addict, or you can follow me over at Instagram at Jody Toy Addict. Bye. Hey everyone, my name is Crystal and my YouTube channel is Vintage Booth Pro where I focus mainly on my Vintage Booth sales, but I also have an online eBay store and sometimes remember to share on Poshmark. So this sale is about an item that was not only in my booth, not only on eBay, but on Poshmark and it finally sold. Let me show you. These tiny little Mary Ingle Bright birdhouses ornaments um, were wrapped up in a bundle of plastic wrap for $1. 
at Goodwill and they just sold on Poshmark for $75. So I'm always on the lookout for Mary Inglebright and I am going to focus on cross posting some more of my items. Consider checking out my channel if you have a vintage booth or are thinking about it as a way to extend your online sales. Thank you, Courtney. Hi everyone, I'm Kat and my eBay store is Kat Feeling Thrifty and this is my bolo. Just kidding, this is my sidekick Roscoe, goes just about everywhere with me. This is my actual bolo. It is a ceramic mold cat with glaring green eyes. The name of the mold on the bottom was E-L-E-Y. Not sure how to say it, but I knew the minute I saw it had to be a bolo. Black cat, green eyes, and it was. It sold within 24 hours of me listing it for $45 plus shipping. I picked it up at an estate sale clean out for $10. Not bad. Courtney, thank you for allowing me to do this and thank you for promoting all of us and our businesses. I hope everyone has a safe and happy new year and of course a prosperous 2023. Thank you. Hey guys, so I'm doing This Is My Bolo. My name is Sarah. I also go by Sam because those are my initials. Anyway, I wanted to share with you this because I found them at the bins. Would y'all believe that? at the bins. So I dug and dug, because I'm a digger, because I know things sink to the bottom. So I dug and I came across these Bose headphones and I was like, oh my gosh, they had a case, they had all the accessories needed, and I ended up auctioning them off on eBay for $191. So I will take a dollar and put it on eBay and make $191 any day of the week. Anyway, I was so excited. This is my bolo and thanks for watching. Hi, my name is Terry. I go by the name Mindful Recycle on my YouTube channel and in my eBay store. My bolo today is a roasting pan. It is Magnolite and I have sold three of these in the past month and a half to two months. So I paid $20 for this one and I sold it for $149. This other one here I paid $50 for and it sold for $225. And the last one who is not in that great of shape, I paid five bucks for it and it sold for $40. They are super easy to ship because they're indestructible. So look out for these because they do sell really well. Thank you, Courtney. Hey, Polo Buddies and Friends. This is Faith with Mac Pat Co. eBay Store. We wanted to share our December Bolo with you, which was a 1993 vintage Avon My First Nativity set. We bought it at a local thrift store for $3, and three weeks later we sold it on auction for $120. The buyer was all in for $141, including shipping. Happy sourcing! Hello everybody, welcome back to the Reseller Cottage. It's Donna, Donatella Bartolino. Thank you so much, Courtney, for putting together these videos. You are amazing. I can't believe how um, awesome you are always promoting other channels and thank you for that. But I don't list very often on eBay. I am trying to vamp up my eBay store just a little bit so that I'm not putting all my apples in one basket. And by that, I mean I sell just strictly on YouTube. I don't sell on whatnot and I very rarely sell on eBay. I used to have 4,000 and listings on eBay but now I cater to the reseller but I did find one of this little charm it's Winnie the Pooh and Piglet it's a Disney little charm and it was going in one of my mystery reseller boxes which I sell often to my viewers so if you get a mystery box for me make sure that you look everything up because who would think $40. I'm going to put the listing right there. I just sold it today. So this is my bolo. And again, Courtney, thank you so much for supporting me and supporting my channel and supporting so many of us. And we will see you live. Bye. Hi, Courtney. It's Yvonne, Mom Knows Treasures. And I wanted to share my bolo. I um, sold this today for $90 plus 425 shipping and I purchased this on an auction records do well do your comps 
I purchased this on a YouTube auction. I purchased this and one other record that I sold for $41. This one sold for $90 plus shipping. For the both, I paid uh, $25. So they, this was $12.50 and I turned that into $90 plus shipping. So look out for records. But as you can tell, this record is in beautiful condition, in near mint condition. I add brand new sleeves. I use the correct packaging. Records can do well, but do your research, do your comps, and you might score yourself a bolo. Hi everyone, T Auctions for you. Thanks for joining. Here is my bolo. So we had uh, sold this Star Wars Attack of the Clones carded figure, new old stock. Pick this up. I think it ended a state sale. I don't honestly remember. I paid, um, there was a bunch of them. I paid $2 each for these. We sold these for full price at $99.99 with $8.95 in shipping. So that was a great pickup for us. Courtney, as always, thank you for doing this. And guys, thanks for watching. Hi, Bolo Buddies. I'm Wendy with Nina's Jewels here with my bolo, which is James Bama artwork. James Bama was born in 1926 and recently passed away in April of 2022. He is an American artist known for realistic paintings and etchings of Western subjects, such as Native Americans, cowboys, and rodeos. I would describe his artwork as extreme realism. In fact, when you look at a James Bama piece, you're probably gonna immediately think it's a photograph. It is so realistic looking. Even if his artwork is not something that is your style, you cannot help but be impressed by his talent. We are very lucky because we have acquired a lot of James Bama prints through another business that we own, which is a custom picture frame shop. But if I ever saw a James Bama print out in the wild, I would snatch it up so fast it would be like, <laughs> here are three recent James Bama prints that we sold. The first one was called Mountain Man with Rifle. It sold for $350. The next one was called Ken Blackbird and a Sinboin Sioux. That one sold for $209.99. And the next one was our highest James Bama sale ever. And we actually have another one of these prints with multiple washers. This one was called Winter Trapping and it sold for $799.99. Check out our Nina's Jewels YouTube channel and also check us out on eBay. We're also Nina's Jewels there. Bye. Hi, Bolo Buddies. This is Carrie from Be Carried Away. I have to do a voiceover today because I am still recovering. So this is my Bolo. These are some felt green Mary Jane style shoes. My favorite category to sell in are shoes. And I have a video of when I found these. I was so excited because they're Gucci. So of course, Gucci is a big bolo, but vintage shoes are a big bolo as well. So I picked these up for $3.99, believe it or not. And I sold these for $202 and plus shipping on eBay. So definitely don't overlook shoes, don't overlook vintage shoes. And when you see that Gucci mark, you know, it's just possible that it really could be the real deal. And these absolutely were. So super excited to pick up Gucci. Okay, let's try this one more time. Hey guys, Noelle, Farm Girl Scavenger here. And I have a bolo for you. Um, I have been picking up jewelry for quite some time. And I have gotten to the point where I know a little bit. I know enough to get myself in trouble, right? <laughs> so I was at an estate sale today is Monday a week ago and she had some jewelry and I kind of looked through it and then she picked up a little box and she said I have this set here that I have a hundred dollars on and I just kind of looked in the box and I looked at it and I said I'll pay a hundred dollars for that and she goes you will and I go yeah I have no, I had no clue what it was I could just tell that it was worth something and uh, don't ask me why don't ask me how anyway it is a vintage from the 1960s Hobe, H-O-B-E with a little thing over the top of it, Peking glass, an Australian crystal, necklace, brooch, and earring set. Now, a lot of these sets came in four. There would have been a bracelet with it. Some of these go for 
over a thousand dollars some of them just for the brooches the necklaces i probably could have gotten more for it had i asked more for it um but i listed it for 699.99 knowing it would go into my 30 percent off sale which it did somebody bought it outright they i took best offer off because i was offering 30 percent off and so i ended up selling this for 489 dollars and um, with uh, eight dollars and seventy five cents shipping, so all in. Let's see, what did they pay all in? It's actually going to Japan. It's going to a freight forwarder. It's just going across the river to uh, Portland. As a matter of fact, they are four hundred and ninety eight dollars and seventy four cents all in with shipping and tax. Something to note. This is, I will put a picture up too. I don't know how well I'm going to be able to show you how beautiful this is. Maybe I can put a little more light over here. I don't know. One thing I want you to know about Hobay or Hobi, see where the, see where it's marked right there? Very few of the earrings Isn't that gorgeous? Very few of the earrings and the necklaces are marked in, as what I've seen. Here is the necklace. Look at that bling. So, and um, I saw somebody had the, the brooch. So, look them up. H-O-B-E. You will be amazed. And if you're going to start picking up jewelry or if you already know about it, just know that sometimes you need to use Google Lens. Sometimes you need to know. Just because something is not marked doesn't mean it's not worth something. Okay? Have a great day. And Courtney, thanks so much for all you do. Everybody, make sure you subscribe to this girl. She is a working working, working crazy lady, and she does amazing stuff for you. Thanks a lot. Bye. Hey, it's Rhonda with Got Junk in Our Trunk, and this is your bolo for today. My daughter Samantha and I went on a girl's trip to Mountain View, Arkansas in early fall, and as we were going through, we were stopping at some of the thrift stores on the way little country ones, mom and pop type of things. Once we got to Mountain View, we actually found two yard sales on that Saturday. So one of them that we went to was a rural one, and she had a little pile of these type of items. And I asked her how much she wanted, and she said free. Well, there's nothing like a free Oscar Mayer wiener whistle. You will see these when the mobile comes through, the Oscar Mayer mobile, I think is what they call it. It comes through and they do demos and different things like that until about the history of Oscar Mayer Company. And they give these little whistles out. You blow in the end here and of course it's a whistle. It's actually a whistle. Kids used to love to get things like this. There are all different ones. This one's one that's on top of what it looks like a skateboard, but this is actually what the wiener whistle looks, or the wiener mobile looks like the whistle, or the whistle looks like it. They look like each other. I got eight of these free. Now, I have to look at my notes to remember how I sold these. I listed the first one for $11.99. I always add shipping on everything. I listed these on eBay, cross-listed it to a couple of different platforms, including Etsy, because these were actually vintage ones. She housed the Wiener Mobile in her yard, and she had some of these left over, and this was from like 25, 30 years ago or something like that, she said. I don't know, but I do know that these are vintage. I sold the first one for $11.99. I sold the second one and the third one for $11.99, and I decided to raise the price. I raised it to $15.99 and ended up selling two of those. All of these at that time had sold on Etsy, so I pulled them off of eBay. Nobody was doing anything over there, and I decided to just leave them on Etsy because I knew that I could get a little bit more for them on Etsy because it was a vintage platform. I raised it to $18.99, sold one. I raised it to $19.99 and sold one. This is the last one that's going out. I sold it for $29.99 plus shipping. That's your bolo for today. Look for the wiener whistle.
All right, Bolo Buddies, how about those Bolos? They were fantastic, right? Go down to the description and click on these eBay stores and heart them. That will allow you to follow them. You will get updates when these eBay stores post coupons and new items. Also, be sure to subscribe to all of these YouTube channels. They are fantastic reselling channels. So that means they have reseller content. And two of the channels sell uh, to us resellers. And that is Donatella Bottolino and Auctions for You. They're linked down below also. So if you're looking for inventory, definitely check them out. And I am also selling on Whatnot. So if you guys want to uh, come check out my Whatnot auctions, I will link that down below as well. Thanks for watching. Also update, got the Bolo Buddies hat merch. It's linked down below if you're interested. Turned out great. Also, if you're new to the channel, let me know how you found Bobo Buddies. Thanks for watching.